Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. Uh, we have been talking about CSS and uh, using various different ways of, uh, of CSS. Um, today, basically, we're going to use see how you can apply various different styles on your text as a border. Okay. So whether you are using paragraph text or image or a heading text, how we specify border around a particular uh, tag. Right. Um, this is task number 14 as well from my handouts, which you already have available on your LMS portal. So if you're accessing the my portal, you would be able to access that. Otherwise, I will give the link below in the description as well. So um, this task, basically, we have already given the CSS in your manual. It should be available. You can now use it. Uh, basically, uh, we specify uh, a tag property called border style. Now, a border style basically allows us to specify various different borders around our uh, text. So, for example, if I copy this CSS, I go back into my HTML CSS tool and I just remove these things or I just give it, uh, come back here and paste this here. So, I have a CSS. Now, this is again style.text or CSS. This means that this is used for internal CSS. I will just delete this because I'm using an external CSS in my code. So I will just copy paste the code here. Again, obviously we can type, but like I said, uh, copy paste is more uh, lazy wise, quicker. Anyway, so what we have done here is we have specified paragraph dot dotted, paragraph dot dash, paragraph dot solid and paragraph dot double. Now what this is basically, again, we have specified class names for our CSS styles. Remember we talked that if you have multiple paragraphs in your CSS, you can specify different styles to each paragraph by using what we call class names. Okay. Um, so uh, what class name does is that you can have a same paragraph style, uh, but with a different and that difference can be applied on each different paragraph. So one paragraph can be, for example, gray color, second paragraph can be blue color. But because they both are paragraphs, so once we come here, like here, so we have specified a paragraph uh, supposed to be gray. Now, if you want to make it blue, uh, then all paragraphs will be blue. But however, at certain situations, we require that some paragraphs are gray, some paragraphs are blue. Uh, how can we do that? Classes. CSS also has a class structure where you basically uh, divide or group the same tag with different groups name or different class name. So paragraph can have two groups, each can do a different function and they both will be applied depending on which group of paragraphs you are applying on. Right? Hopefully that makes sense. So um, in terms of CSS, we use the word class that should make even more sense. So uh, what we did here is that we have created various different classes. So for example, if I don't create a class and I just create a paragraph tag here and I specify, for example, something called BO a uh, border and border style i think what is supposed to be border and dash left dash style is equal to colon do double d dotted right so this becomes oh, okay i've spelled it incorrectly that's what i was not getting the hints b o r border dash left that style so i've specified border dot left as style simple as that it's supposed to be dotted i will go with other thing in this case only paragraph now remember i have already given paragraph tag here as well which tag would be applied now so if it would be gray without border or it would be dotted without gray color or will it be both because they both are supposed to be paragraphs so i've specified same paragraph tag twice and then obviously there are class tags as well so because we are not talking or we have not used tags yet it should not be a problem with these tags but if i go back into my html code see i have a paragraph and this is a paragraph with inline css so will this border style be applied on this with internal css Let's check this out again. And these paragraphs are already there. So just save this code, come back into this control S. I back, go back into my CSS and hit a refresh. Here we go. Okay. So what we get now is we get our paragraphs and we get our text. However, this is still blue. And if you see at the left corner, you would be able to find these dotted, 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 dotted borders on your left side. Okay. Left side, because if you come here, remember I've used a left style border. And I think there is a general border as well. We are the uh, border and border style colon. For example, I can specify D O U B L E double. So if I specify double here and without any left, right, top or bottom, like it says left, right, left, 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 left. This means only on your left side, it will be applied. Uh, but if you just use a border style, basically control S. Now I go back and hit refresh. Now I get a double line across every single paragraph. Okay, this is means there's a border of a double line across every single paragraph across all four corners. But if you just need it, for example, at the two left and right, then what we can do is we can come back here and we can specify border, uh, border dash, sorry, dash R I G S T right, 
dash style okay this would apply the style on right similarly you can apply border on top means only on the top of certain things there is a line or on the bottom for whatever purpose you want to need so um, within css you can specify borders around the content left right top bottom individually or if you just specify uh, as a whole right so as a whole if you specify means just you write border style double it will be applying the double border uh, left dotted it will be just applied left dotted so but because i have just specified double at the end so it applies double so if i use dotted again control s go back to into my thing header recycle and you can see this now there's a dotted line across each thing now again going back to our own questions i have a paragraph tab here i have a paragraph tab here all right both tags are there both have css style one has a gray color second has a dotted tag these two are separate thing if i go back into my output you would see that all paragraphs are gray so that means that this gray has been applied on all paragraphs and at the same time all paragraphs also have the dotted border around it so this means that this part of tag has also been applied so it solves one question that you can write the same tag multiple time but remember that tag would be applied on all paragraphs so there is no like uh, duplicating css styles or conflict uh, that there are two same functions so there's no problem with that css is very relaxing it doesn't matter it goes here sees ah oh, the paragraph let me take it gray then does some other thing oh another paragraph let's dot it so it's supply dot it so there's there's no conflict anywhere there so it's very easy to apply very easy to do it okay then obviously these styles were not applied because these are class based dot blocks right so this means that if i need to apply these things on this one i would have to go into some other way okay so let me just make it paragraph dot um, full okay so i change the class name here right uh, or obviously because there are two one a better way or efficient way would be that i would use a single paragraph tag that would do both these functions so this would make actually make life more easier for all of us right so i have one paragraph tag let me just close it here and then i have these two borders here so within one paragraph both are applied perfect with that these are dotted dotted solid dash blah 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 things um these are all different style values that you can give to our attributes okay because they are class and if you want to apply this class what you need to do is you need to come into your code uh, sorry again your html code and let's have a paragraph last one and in this i would specify class as for example do double d here dotted now what it happens we have specified a paragraph with a specific class this is again class is an attribute belonging to html however the value is basically referred and used by css so class technically is an attribute for html which has a value which is again used by css so like i previously said css and html work in conjunction with each other uh, css needs html so everything we do in html is actually used by css and it works on that so html is essential and basically within html there is a class this class is actually used by css and i think only by css it might be it might have certain other uses as well uh, but for now we use it for css and then when we come here so what now happens is that whatever ever there is a same class so paragraph paragraph class dotted class dotted so wherever there is a class having this dotted will have this dotted attribute to it so if i save it come back into my code refresh it and now you should see, oh it's already dotted so that was a bad choice okay so let's just make it for example double d o u b l e double okay and then within this dotted class i can also write border dash or oh sorry border dash left left or let me just make it right right dash style colon d o u b l e double semicolon okay so i just separated these two other styles away so i have one class called uh, paragraph dot dotted and it has two styles on left side and on the right side double the remaining are all dotted so remember there is a paragraph that has a style it means this style will be applied on every single paragraph then after that i have another paragraph with a specific class with a specific style so how this output is going to turn out let's come back here refresh it and as soon as you hit refresh you would now note that we have uh, what we call all the paragraphs with all the basic uh, dotted border outline however the last paragraph that we used which had a specific class inside it so if i go back into my code paragraph class dotted this class has now a different border at its left and right side 
and the top and bottom are still the same from the previous border. So what has happened is that uh, it, if you go to CSS, first this dotted border was applied on every single paragraph. So all the paragraphs basically have the same border. Then there is another tag so which now changes the style. So now this style would again also be reapplied and all the settings or all the add properties that are mentioned in that particular tag will only, only be applied. So what we basically do is we only apply these basic settings okay and then we can repeat certain settings as well so within this we apply a paragraph dotted what it does is it applies left and right as a double line so if i go back into my code you would find that there is a left and right double coded line okay very simple very easy to understand so basically now means that you have to play with various different properties within css to understand what do you exactly want to achieve okay so this is task number 14 working with borders there are obviously various different borders that you can use from groove, ridge, insert, outside, dash, double, dotted, depending on what basically you are trying to do. So we have uh, dotted. Um, again, I would try to use, for example, groove. Actually, I have not used that. I don't know what it looks like. So let me use groove, control, S. And again, obviously, we, whenever you make changes, save it, come back here, hit a refresh. And I think just a dotted line. Maybe it has certain groovy line or some different format. I don't know. So uh, there's a basically a uh, line across of a paragraph. So maybe you need a border around your images, your text, your highlightation, wherever you need. We use CSS uh, property called border style and we apply a certain border. Again, CSS styles are not specific. See here, the same style has been applied on H1, H2, H3, H4, paragraph, image, any tag that you are using can have the same styles. So that's again another beauty of CSS that there are styles uh, properties these properties are common and shared across every single tag. So no matter which tag you're using, you can use it. And you can customize that tag with respect to whatever uh, basically class you are using it. So in my case, we only have a paragraph. So I can use paragraphs and I can specify and segregate every single paragraph as well. So in my case, for example, we have this paragraph or we can just simply use, for example, border style and we can use double here and control s now even though we have this one so what it will do is it will go sequentially line by line first apply this then apply this finally it will apply this so the final output would be a border style double so basically these two would just be disappearing so if i control s this go back into my code and hit a double render so it is all these paragraphs have a strong groove border around it however the last paragraph has what we refer to as a double bow, um, double border okay so you can even customize that so that's the advantage of using classes within a css as well so if you use a class dotted now it basically means that it has a class dotted paragraph that paragraph will have a different style to it okay uh, thank you very much for watching this is dr shan but if you're here for the first time don't forget to hit the subscribe icon so you can follow all the tutorials later on next class we will be using the next uh, basically indentation within css Thank you very much.